integrate the cosine of the square root of x solution. So if it was just cosine x, it would be pretty easy. The problem is it's cosine of square root of x. So the natural thing to do is to take this piece here and call it u and see what happens. So we'll start by letting u be equal to the square root of x. Now to eliminate the square root, we'll square both sides. So we get u squared equals x. Then we can take the derivative. So on the left hand side, we'll get 2u du. And on the right hand side, we just get 1 dx or just dx. And now things work out really, really nicely. We can make a substitution. So we have our dx here. That's down here in purple. That's going to be 2u du. So this is 2u du. So we've replaced our dx. What's left is cosine of u. All right, so now we have to integrate this. So there's a couple ways to do it. We can use integration by parts, or we can use tabular. Let's use tabular because it's faster. So tabular integration works uh, whenever one of the factors after repeated differentiation is eventually zero. So to u, if you keep differentiating it, you get zero eventually, right? Because the derivative of 2u is 2, and the derivative of 2 is 0. Boom. So you take the piece that after repeated differentiation is 0, and you just differentiate it. Then you take the other factor, and then you just integrate it. So let's be careful here. We're integrating cosine. So the question becomes, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? So sine. And now we're integrating sine. So the question is, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, negative cosine, right? Because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So if we have a negative here, it's going to make it a positive. Then you come over here and you do plus, minus, plus. Then you draw arrows, and that's the answer. So this is equal to 2u sine u. And then negative and negative here is positive, so it's plus. 2 cosine u plus c. The last thing to do is replace all of the u's with square roots, right? So because u is the square root of x. So this is 2 square root of x sine of the square root of x plus 2 cosine of the square root of x plus c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there, and I hope it made sense. That's it.